Welcome to my daily practice at Wendy Code Art. If you find this video interesting or helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking the video. Hi, my name is Wendy and I'm an artist. I've been an artist my whole life and I am excited to invite you into my studio and show you my art practice. I paint every day and I do um, acrylic on paper, uh, I also do stencils, I draw, I organize my studio space, I do a lot of things. Uh, for me, art is about problem solving, so there's always little tricks and tools that um, I can share with you along the way. So welcome, I'm so glad you're here. Uh, today I am kind of basking in the glow of having a very good day in the studio yesterday. So, um, but I'm in a middle ground uh, where I, I like uh, most of the paintings at this point, um, but I'm not sure. Uh, you know, time, it takes time to, for things to settle down, and I just need to wait on um, uh, most of these surfaces. Uh, this process, this, these last few days went very, very quickly, which is not terribly usual. Um, usually it takes uh, weeks or even, you know, months to complete a whole series of paintings or a whole group. I have about, um, I have the capacity for, I don't know, 24 or 30 paintings um, and I work on them continuously you know going from one to the other and waiting for the paint to dry and uh, so um, it uh, it's usually a longer process in between I paint 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 and then I take things out and I put things back in and uh, this was pretty pretty quick so here we are. Um, I I can't complain, uh, but I also want to just let things settle down, settle down. So also yesterday I um, I have these paintings, these small paintings. I've taken the large sheets of paper or the map paper and I have made a grid so that they're smaller pieces then I you know tear the paper to separate them and uh, they were a hot mess I'll tell you so I decided to make them hotter and messier which I did which you know always brings up something delightful it's just like there's something, there's something that always kind of percolates up from the, even the process of destruction. So I'm kind of excited about seeing where these will go, but I have no um, expectation that they will resolve. So how much fun is that? I get to um, play surely for the sake of playing. I'm getting a little tired of my uh, silhouettes and my stencils. I mean, I'm not getting tired. I just, I haven't taken the time to produce some new ones. And, uh, you know, I'd like a little fresh, few, few fresh goddesses. I don't even think I want to use the silhouettes. I like this background quite a bit. But that's dangerous, you know, to um, be infatuated even with a background. So, let's just start putting some figures on here.
I'm going to work. Hmm. Now I should not be working with the same colors. I need a little contrast there. So I'm going to put these aside so that I'm not even tempted to pick them up. And because this is quite. I was going to say it's kind of a middle tone, but there's splashes of everything, some paint that I haven't seen for a while. I wonder if it's still good. Brush in there. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, that's good work. All right, we have that. And fluorescent always works. Um, one of the more difficult aspects of life in the studio are, you know, is the distractions um, and also the, the procrastinations. So distracting is one thing, but procrastinating, I mean, finding other things to do, like, you know, sweeping the floor. I mean, not that that isn't important. It's an absolute essential part of the process. However, sometimes it can be used as a distracting element, meaning you could be painting and doing the floor at another time. Um, But anyways, you start to gather little tricks, or I've, <laughs> speaking in the royal we, um, I started to gather, you know, little tricks, and, and that's some of the information that I'm trying to impart here. I'm not sure how well it's going, but I am trying. Now, do I dare? Use this pink. So that thought that I um, stifled was, do I dare to put white? Um, white is a uh, is great. It's not a color, but it's definitely an element that can get you where you want to go. All right, I'm going to squirt up. And then I'm going to scrape down and see. I just made a mess. So I'm going to keep going. I have to be a little more, I think I scrape down halfway and then scrape up halfway so that I'm not um, just creating these big kind of goopy, you know, when the paint gets underneath. It gets a little goopy. I'm trying to fix that. It's not really fixable. All right. Moving on. <laughs> For um, the economy of the material, I put two of these images on each piece of plastic and um, you know it was random but the it's a dialogue 
I mean, they're together more or less because of this random act of um, placement. And and that just happens sometimes, doesn't it? Things get randomly placed. You know, you find your inspiration from something random. You um, you find. Uh, a something works because of something else that was random. You know, you find a new technique in some kind of random expression, um, some kind of random uh, action. Putting the colors together. <laughs> Even when they're making rude noises, has a kind of a random aspect, or it can. All right, so half, half down, and half up. I can't even see these. Oh, but that's nice. I know you can't see it, but th this is, these only three colors came out. You know, these are quite narrow. So only three colors came out, and um, I like it. Made them quite distinctive. Now, the more I use the squeegee, the more um, the colors start to blend and meld. And just try the goddesses again. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm liking it. Just one here that really got all muddy. I don't think I can do anything about it. Let me just put a few. No. I do like how they... sit on the surface. I mean, they really just like plunk sit on the surface. Um, so it'll take some more work. And uh, I'm going to wash out my squeegee and my um, slides so that they can continue to function. And I'm going to look for some new images so that I can continue to have some variety. And um, I'll let this dry and see how things look in um in a you know in a few hours or maybe even in a day and by then i'll have a new tape <laughs> so i'll keep you posted so Thanks. i'm so happy that you are joining me today and maybe other days too i'll take you through my day to day as an artist and I look forward to seeing you on the next tape. Thanks for being here.